All right. Well, hey, everybody. I am thrilled to be here. It was such a sweet intro. Um, so today, yeah, we're going to learn palmistry in just one session. What? How is that possible? So, I, you know, get into that chat. And if you have ever, th this is a common thing that I've heard from people. Uh, and palmistry is interesting to me, but every time I pick up a book, it's confusing or it's too complicated or it just seems so overwhelming. And so I turn to tarot or something else. If that's you, put an emoji of some kind in the comments. Like I want to see like how many of you stack up as um, I tried to learn palmistry and it was too hard. That's what I want to know. So a little bit about me, you heard, um, I've been reading poems since 1987 when I was 16. Um, I developed a divine hand method and modern mudras. I own the divine hand palmistry and I live in Seattle with my husband and I'm a stepdad and grandpa, like you heard. After taking this course, what are you going to get out of it? You will have a functional understanding of the meanings of the finger gestures You'll have a basic understanding of the meanings of the lines on the palm, and you'll be able to start reading palms of people around you using the information you've learned. If you're already a palm reader, it will enhance or give you another way of looking at the lines and the gestures on the hand, well, with the hands. And so that could be very helpful. So let's talk about some of the myths. What are the common misperceptions of palmistry? What are some of the misperceptions of palmistry? One of them is that it's fatalistic and doom and gloom. A lot of people are worried that palmistry is a very negative, uh, it's only gonna tell me the negative things, which in a way is true. There's a history about it that I could tell you. Um, that palmistry makes predictions. There's a lot of um, predictions People see the lifeline as length of life or as a timeline, or if you have this line, it's unfortunate. If you have this line, it's fortunate. So there's a lot of that type of fatalistic and predictive type of readings. That your hands don't change. That line is on your hand. It's going to be there forever. Um, so you're just stuck with it. So there's that on top of it. And finally, that palmistry can be kind of low vibe or low energy. I find this sometimes with more the metaphysical crowds where they're like, palmistry, oh no, I stick to angelic channeling. So there could be some of that that happens. <laughs> Here's some of the realities of palmistry. 